Hey guys, it's Jade. I was recently um, requested by All Things Pretty to show my, do a flip through of my journal. And I have been wanting to share my journals um, and where I started and where I've ended up now with you anyway. So let's go ahead and get started because I have uh, quite a few ones to go through and I don't want this to be super long. Um, there is a journaling style called Hobonichi. It started in Japan. Um, but the, and basically it's like a journal slash planner type thing. Um, but they are kind of expensive to import into America. Um, so there were some inventive ladies that came up with the Fobonichi, um, and started using most, of, most people use this Miguel Rios book for it because it has the graph paper in it like um, the Hobo Nietzsche does um, and you can get this for $9.95 at Barnes & Noble of course if you have a coupon or you're a member it'll be a little cheaper um, the reason this is usually not this thin it's a very thick notebook like this and I'll tell you why this one is this thin it's because I took pages out I don't the the covers come kind of soft and pliable it's like a, a faux leather or whatever um so with this one i put a thin piece of chipboard and covered the inside but it was still a little too pliable for me so i ended up taking the the guts out of most of it and making it into my own hardcover book so um i did that twice <laughs> and this is how i started out very very simple um, putting my own dates up there, just kind of doodling, playing around with watercolor pencils. And, you know, all this stuff is kind of ugly. I was playing with some stamps with my nephew here. And once I took the guts out of the first book, this was the first book I took the guts out of, um, I gave the rest... I, I bought like several of these anyway he ended up with one he, and he was playing around in this one as well when I gave him the rest of it so and that's just me and my nephew messing around that's crap anyway um this one I decided I wanted to do a monthly spread as well I don't know why I never actually filled in the month stuff in this one right here but um the year for this was 2016 so this is April um, and I was playing around with watercolors and swirls here and uh, yeah so let's just go on and start flipping through it's my sister's birthday again with the swirls outlander as you can tell I am a huge fan um, and what I did at the top, in case you can't see, I would um, put the day and the month and the actual day. And here, a lot of people will rec record the weather or their mood or something. I didn't care about none of that. <laughs> I would record um, what I was currently reading at the time and what page I ended on for the night. So you see at this time, I was reading The Count of Monte Cristo, which is a very good book, guys mom's birthday and see just messing around playing around um love that but this was actually one of my favorite spreads and it was very much inspired by an artist um her name is candace dillhoff she is on youtube and instagram i'll link her youtube below but her fobo nijis are so incredibly pretty and beautiful and she does these swirls all the time and they're so pretty so go check out her channel guys if you if you want to be inspired it's it's really really pretty anyway here's some more um reading the count of monte cristo not sure why i drew the butterfly there but anyway um here was when prince passed away i was trying to do a tribute page i didn't really care for the way this one turned out so i ended up doing another one with a, a two page spread um and I like this one a whole lot better than that first one so and I love this quote a strong spirit transcends rules and um purple rain just actually happens to be my favorite Prince song ever in life so 
a little more of the swirls doodling game of thrones i think was coming back on this day or either something big was happening in the series um and this day back here um beyonce released her album lemonade which i fell in love with um so i kind of just did a little tribute to that um and as you well if you watch the um Instead of just listening to the CD, there's a kind of like a, a DVD story that goes with it. If you watch it, you see her go through all these stages. Um, and there's some beautiful poetry in it by War Son Shire, I think her name is. Um, so, yeah, I just, I loved it. It was beautiful. So that was it for that one. Um, I took the guts out of this one and made my own hardcover Fobonichi. So that's what I ended up moving into this one. Um, I used that hard chipboard covered it with faux mint leather um and i put one of those heidi swap rub-ons like the gold foil rub-ons but as you can see the rub-on rubbed off so and i don't know if it's the material or what but it didn't stay but anyway now again cover the inside with that beautiful paper i know it's dear lizzie paper but i can't remember what collection it was um and here was what i meant to do with that first calendar and i filled it in here but i didn't really fill in the other ones i did decorate and make them pretty i think though so let's just go on and get start flipping here i decided that i wanted to um start drawing bookshelves and i would fill the current bookshelf with the books that i finished the month before so these were all the books that I finished in um, April. Here I went to see Civil War. Um, I loved it. It was great. And this was the movie that Black Panther showed up. And as soon as he showed up on the screen, I was like, who is that? I need more of him. Somebody give this man his own movie. I need that right now. Um, so thus that started my uh, Black Panther obsession and I was I couldn't wait um, for his movie to come out and um, I just it was phenomenal. Civil War was phenomenal and Black Panther was just uh, out of this world. So anyway, more swirls. It was Mother's Day over here and watercolors I was crafting these days. Bought a new computer. Just random stuff here. One of my favorite moments in the latest Game of Thrones season, it was really good, um, was when Sansa and Jon reunited. Ironically, they, they were the ones that liked each other the least, but they were just so happy to see each other. It, it was so touching. Anyway, here, Harry Potter must have been on because... Freeform used to play them all the time and I loved it. I would watch it every time it came on. If there was nothing else on. Here I was doing some more crafting, making books, little inserts. Um, must have stormed that day. So again, the hold the door episode, man, ripped my heart out. Uh, this, we went to a trip to Maryland. My cousin was graduating. Um, yeah, see graduation cap and we hit some sales while we were there, but I was just happy to get back home. Always happy to come back home. This was Memorial Day. Here is my June spread. Sorry guys, this thing is, it's hard to get it all in with this angle. Yeah, that's a little better, I think. Um, just my bookshelf for that month. I was making some greeting cards for a friend, playing some games. I went to vote this day. I was reading on my nook here. I think I had a doctor's appointment and my doctor happened to be quite cute that day. Um, my new watercolors came in. This was when um, that nightclub got shot up in Orlando. Um, and I had a friend I went to college with that was a victim in that shooting and it just kind of makes me this is him here his name was Shane and we went like I said went to college together but I don't want to dwell on this it was sad and it kind of pisses me off that things like that are still happening 
around the world and especially in the u.s so here went and grabbed a book we grilled out just some more messing around with paints and watercolors um this was one of my favorite episodes of game of thrones this past season it was the battle of the bastards um this one in winds of winter it they blew me away they really did um and it makes sense because I love the Hard Home episode as well. And the same director directed this episode. So that's probably why, part of the reason why I liked it so much. But anyway, I just printed out this little um, uh, poster here. Um, drew a frame, kind of a frame around it. Um, it just, it was a great episode. This here, this was the part where Ramsey had just killed his brother in front of him and the look on his face I, right there that look I, I knew it was over for Ramsey I was like you might as well just go on and tuck your tail and run and try to survive because it is over for you Ramsey um and then when the here I just felt like he looked very much like his father Ned yes we all know uh the origins of his parents now but Ned is still very much his father and he looks so much like him in this um episode anyway and then when the the stark banners flew again oh, it's just great uh, i'm playing monopoly with my nephew again this is the winds of winter episode i didn't think anything could top battle of the bastards um but it was just as good i, I just it was just great and it was a great way to end that season and now we have to wait to 2019 to see what happens and I'm still waiting on George to drop the next book. I mean, he is just taking forever. Um, so again, just some more stuff. Here's my July spread. My bookshelf. Here I was messing with some Del Delusion spray inks. I'm trying to just do a random background to write and journal on. But it just turned out to be a mess to me. So I just left it. And... Just to make things a little thicker, I have been, um, excuse me, gluing two pages together so you don't get so much like bleed through or anything like that. This was Independence Day. Um, this was to commemorate Alton Sterling and Philando Castile. Their lives being taken needlessly. Um, here's some swirls. The Outlander finale. This is another show I'm obsessed with. Outlander, Game of Thrones. Um, they, they're just phenomenal stories. Love them. More swirls. I think I was putting some mail out that day or something. Crafting this day. I love this quote. Stop counting who doesn't show up and value those that do. And there are days that are blank because I just did not feel like it. And this is where I say, because um, it was like daily, I felt pressured to try to do something daily. And sometimes I just did not, I was just wasn't up to it. Um, I was not feeling the best this day, it kind of carried over to this day. So I was just kind of in the bed, um, mostly trying to recover from a pain crisis. Um, some more swirls. There is another um, Fobonichi year. <laughs> her name is Elizabeth and her YouTube channel is Never Hopeless. I'll link her below as well. And I kind of picked up some things from her as well or tried some things. Some things I love, some things just did not work for me. Um, like she colors in her backgrounds with like colored pencils and stuff. And while it looks great, I, I love the way it looks in her journals. Like, love it. And that's why I wanted to try it myself. But I just, it looked terrible for me in mine. So I was like, nah, I don't think I'll be doing that much of that. So, <laughs> but um, I, like I said, I'll link her below. You can see hers. Hers is nice. Um, and so, yeah. Then I, um, I would, you know, do a couple tip-ins here, uh, like little envelopes and stuff is where either my mom or nephew or somebody would write me a note that I wanted to, you know, keep. So I would just put a tip-in envelope in and put the note in there or, you know, a pocket or something. So, see, more Harry Potter. 
and again more Harry Potter uh, tip guys if you're gonna watercolor um, and you write your stuff first <laughs> do use a waterproof pen uh, I didn't do that and you see I got all messed up and janky looking um, it's still cute but it's no don't do that or either yeah d or right afterwards right after you put the watercolor on or use a waterproof pen that is my one of my tips okay here's, a tip. here's the August spread again one of those pockets to um, keep notes in and I have a tutorial on how to make these little pockets I made this one channel watching stranger things that is a good show guys if you haven't watched it it's on netflix went and got my nephew some sneakers again i made a little pocket um to hold a note or a receipt or something there all right i have been hunting down this die i couldn't find it for a long time i went to tuesday morning i even went Look, I went all the way back to my, uh, the place where I went to college, um, to look at that, at their Tuesday morning. It's like a two hour drive for me. Um, still didn't find it, but anyway, but it was fun going back there. I love, um, revisiting my college town. Every time I go, there's something new up and I don't go very often. So, I mean, they have like completely revamped that area. Like it's crazy. Here's one of those notes I never put in a thing. This was a good day. My um, nephew learned how to tie his shoes. And he also learned how to um, ride his electric scooter without falling off. And, you know, being able to keep his balance. Again, a note from my nephew here. I was making little envelopes and I left him a cute little note with it. And so he decided to return the favor. He's so cute auntie anyway so I had to preserve his little note because he's so cute and adorable again more notes and some days when I just didn't feel like it I would just print out a big picture and put it there love me some Jon Snow and this just says bastard Lord Commander King in the North so his ascension through the ranks my nephew went back to school this is the september spread books my one of my best friends she had a baby girl and that die that i was looking for way back here i finally found it couldn't believe i found it uh, watching some supernatural, supernatural. Love that show. I'm obsessed with it. When nothing else is on, I will turn on Supernatural because Sam and Dean. I mean, what more can you ask for? Um, here I was lazy, so I put this quote by Tyrion. Let me give you some advice, bastard. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not wear it like armor and it can never be used to hurt you. Sage advice. I love it, Tyrion. He's got some of the best quotes, best advice in the whole series. And he was actually um, directing that towards Jon Snow. Um, here is where um, I started to kind of fall off. I got things down, but you can see everything is just in pencil. Usually I write it out in pencil and I'll go over it with my um some color of paper made flares and i got a big pack of those from like sam's for like 13 bucks if they might be more now if they even still have them but um so you can tell at this point i'm kind of starting to get over this book here because i could you know it's starting to buckle and get warped and stuff i don't like when that happens with my journals um, here I pasted in a note from, um, it was a list from my dad. He was writing down, um, songs he wanted to make a mixed CD of. And, um, it'll be 10 years this April, um, that he's passed and I just miss him and I 
found those so I put it in my journal um, here I was making some uh, bookish type gifts for one of my friends for her birthday she loves Game of Thrones too um, and here you can see I started writing you know putting post-its of what um, was happening so I could go back and fill it in but I never did um, I did do this one bookshelf and I think that may have been it yeah the rest was it's just post-its and I was just pretty much kind of over this book so I moved on into the next one and this cover again I did the hardcover chipboard this is from the paper source um, and I actually got this idea from another YouTuber. I really don't remember who it is anymore. Um, and I wasn't going to get the same exact paper that she used. But I loved all the colors in it. Especially the purple and this mint. And I couldn't find something comparable at the paper source at the time. So I said forget it. I'm just going to get the same thing. It's really pretty and I loved it. So let's get started. This was January 2017. Um... And as you can see, it started, it started to rip apart and stuff. So, um, this was where I posted the tutorial on how to make these um, little pockets. If anybody's interested, it's on my YouTube channel. Um, so here's some more notes here. Doing some um, crafting. So. Had a little date with my nephew. Um, probably the best date ever. He is. Uh, he is my mo he is my favorite person to talk to and have a conversation with because he is so smart and the things he says it's just I'm like amazed by him every day so trying out different styles with my um, titles and whatnot and um, here this one this notebook you can really see where I've kind of fallen into my style um, where I would like print out instead of doodling I would print something out um, from the internet or like some clip art or something and journal around it and then have like a title that I'd fill in with some paint pens and then use my paper make flares to write um what I was doing that day or whatever here's my February spread um I was reading that by Diana Gabaldon the fiery cross this is my this is my second read through of this series the outlander series because they're such good books and I love the series so Um, another Harry Potter weekend. This was the Super Bowl. Riverdale. Guys, that's actually a pretty good show. I used to love those Archie comics. I would get them every time I went to the grocery store um, with my parents when I was younger. And Riverdale is based on those Archie comics, except it's darker. Like it's um, it's basically they have all the characters: Betty, Veronica, Archie, Jughead, yada yada yada. Except it is not that like apple pie type atmosphere and everything's funny, haha. -ha. No, this is like a darker version of Archie. So, but it's a really good show. Um, this was my brother's birthday. I call him Stinky. This was Valentine's Day, and I just listed the people I love most in this world. And I did some, I did a tip in and did some journaling on the back of this big card here. And this is just cardstock from that um, Saint Valentine collection from Recollections at Michaels. Another thing to store notes. 
doing some um watching supernatural made a side pocket here and my in a pocket here so my nephew was uh, drawing me some train tickets i don't know where he wanted me to go but i kept them <laughs> Um, again, I forgot, I used a regular pen here, my paper made flare, and then I started watercolor, and it was looking a mess, so I stopped. Um, here I tried decoupaging a napkin in, and it worked great. It looked nice for the longest time, but then it started sticking to the other page, so you can see where Miss Viola got torn up here. <laughs> um, here's another tip in. My nephew stayed another tip in um i like i really like the tip ins i think they're pretty cool so here's march i didn't care too much for how march turned out here i went to go see get out such a good movie and i have my um ticket stubs and receipt and stuff in there and this is just a big journaling card again the decoupage and you can see where I'm starting to split here um, Iron Fist came out this day and then Into the Badlands, um, the second season, so good. I love that show. It should be coming on again soon, too, once The Walking Dead ends this season. Um, this I really like this spread. I love the colors in it. Um, watching Drag Race. I love RuPaul's Drag Race. It's so funny. Especially the Snatch Game. Another big journaling card. Um... I noticed like way late that I completely butchered <laughs> the word straightening in this journal. Like that is not how you spell straightening. It's funny. I go back and look at my like posts on Facebook and stuff. And I'm like, if I like had a typo, I didn't realize. So I go back and edit it. And it's like months later sometimes. Crazy. But I can't, I can't leave it. My, I just can't. It's, that's, it won't let me do it. Here's April Easter-ish type. Walking Dead season finale. Here's my books. Um, this is when the Tar Heels won. My sister had me. She went to UNC. We live like 10 minutes away. Um, and she had me all over the place looking for a daily Tar Heel. I ended up having to order in a line for her. Um, the Get Down, if you guys haven't watched that on Netflix, that is such a good show. This was coming back. Um, the part two and I was excited so I put that in there this was some more decoupage and it was a cut out um, image from like one of those little golden books just trying some different things here and this is another decoupage napkin mm. we have a used bookstore in our area where Every third weekend, you can get books. It used to be for $0.25 cent a piece. Now, they've gone up to 35 which is still not a bad deal. So, we have crates and crates of books in the garage. <laughs> because it's too tempting not to get a whole bunch of books at once. Um, again, you'll see the days where I just wasn't feeling it. And I'll just put something like this here. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched the Spartacus series um, by Stars. But Andy Whitfield was the first actor in it, and he was phenomenal. I loved him in it. Um, there's a documentary on his his journey with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma on Netflix called Be Here Now, and it was so touching, um, so I had to journal about it. Um, I started watching Orphan Black here. Here's my May spread. I really did not like the May spread. Oh, it was so ugly. Okay. 
and the power went out this day there was a storm I love this quote I don't want to just read books I want to crawl inside of them and live there and I just put it on some cardstock from the Belarus stack some planner stuff I bought um, this was Mother's Day and again I took some notes here and this um, this was some candy somebody gave me it's like Japanese or Chinese candy god I can't remember where I got it from but I saved the um you know the box it came in and made it into a little pocket um and here you can see it says bad day in progress stand clear so I wasn't trying to be bolder uh, bothered that day um I think this is when I filled my debit card holder for the micro traveler's notebooks don't mind my dog guys um that's on my youtube channel so um and this is when they had to sell on copics and here you can see where i kind of start getting over this notebook because it started breaking and buckling and stuff and where i have my spreads but i don't feel any i haven't filled anything in here days i go without my nephew drew that so I just pasted it in there here's my June spread I really like the way that one turned out that's cute um I kind of regret not doing this this is pretty the way it did it but anyway not you know filling the rest of it out anyway so yeah from here on out I think it's like um I don't know what I was doing here this was a mess um but that's it for that notebook um and so now I, um, with those, I was trying to do stuff every day and it kind of became overwhelming and I kind of felt pressured to do something every day with those. So I decided for this year, I wanted to go smaller and, um, not pressure myself to have to do something every day. Um, so I wanted a four by six journal. I ended up ordering this thinking it would be, it was, and it is close. It's a lect term 1917. Um, and but it's not exactly four by six let's see if it has the dimensions on it here it's just a, a slightly smaller than a four by six and one second i'll show you the actual four by six i got okay i ended up getting this one off of um Amazon. I got them both off Amazon. And this is a here's a, a traveler's pocket journal. Grid. And I got grid on both because with that Miguel Rias and the Fobonichi, it's grid paper and I fell in love with the grid paper. It's so much easier to um, do lines and things of that nature. See this one is 6 by 4 That's the information here. Um, the only thing, again, is that soft kind of cover but whatever it is much smaller and see this one's not too different they're about the same height but it's just uh, about a half inch or so less um pages or less page so with this one i decided i've been wanting to start trying to learn how to letter and brush letter and stuff so i just decided to make this that practice book um, so here you can see where I have been just writing the alphabets and practicing different um, lettering styles here. And that's all I've done so far. It looks a mess because my hands, the medicine I'm on from my transplant, it makes my hands shake and have the tremors. And it's quite annoying. So it's a little harder trying to do anything now, writing, crafting, um, drawing, whatever. So, um sometimes I just I might forget it <laughs> but anyway so that's what I'm using this little notebook for since I decided it was a little too small for journaling purposes um, and then this one I started to journal in and I will show you what I've done for February and then you know if if I do some stuff in March I'll come back and show you that so this just is a quick little kind of vision board and what I really like about this is that the paper is like 70 weight. So it stands up pretty well to like watercolor and things of that nature. There's only one 
so far issue I've had with like um, ghosting and it's kind of my fault anyway here's just a kind of thank you page um, when Gracie was um, shouting my YouTube channel out to help me try to get more subscribers to meet the deadline which I did not but it is okay eventually I will um, this was Valentine's Day and I was playing with those watercolor crayons from um, recollections and stamping here um it's a lot of black panther this month because this is when it came out and i was uh, playing around with making some stickers on my silhouette um here i had a transplant appointment when i say i have an appointment out of town i went to that hobby lobby and finally was able to find some of the clearance items i had been looking for um and just did some watercolor in the background here i had ordered a black panther shirt to wear i mean it finally came in the mail i printed this on my zip and as you can see it's a little distorted in the colors and stuff so if you're looking for a portable printer i would um suggest maybe checking out the sprocket um my next purchase i think is going to be the selfie though so i don't really need it to go with me anywhere and it's the better of as far as quality it's the best here i also did some filming some editing and some uploading um and this is just the instructions for my shirt and the um the person who I ordered it from, if anybody's interested, that's her information. So, um, here I actually finally got to go see Black Panther. I had to wait a couple weeks to kind of let the crowd die down a little because everybody's sick and got germs and they coughing and they sneezing. And my immune system is suppressed because of the transplant and I'm trying to avoid getting sick. Um, I just, I don't, I ain't got time for it. So finally went to go see it i went on a monday in the morning so it wasn't a lot of people in there um and it was like two weeks after the release date so i put the poster here put a little um tip in this is um just a pocket i didn't make this one but you know i have my receipt and my ticket stuff in there here just did some watercolor in the background um and I ripped out a piece of the African map, Afri map of Africa, where uh, Wakanda is supposedly located. The fictional Wakanda is located. Um, and Wakanda, it was beautiful in the movie. Um, so I just put a tiny word sticker there. Um, Wakanda forever. And you can see where I was drawn on the other page where it started coming through just a little and watercoloring. Anyway, so I just you know journal about that and put that quote by eric killmonger at the end there um and that's pretty much it for um my february spread so um again like i said i'll you know wh whatever i do in march i'll come back and do a quick flip through of that as well so i kind of feel better about this i don't feel so much pressure trying to get something down all the time every day especially when i'm not feeling it or my hand is doing a little too much shaking or whatever so um yeah i am quite satisfied with that where i am now as far as journaling and it could always change again you never know but is um you will whoever is going to start journaling or whoever is journaling if you do it on a fairly consistent basis you will eventually fall into your own style that you like so just go for it guys go for it so anyways that is it that's all i wanted to share um i hope this wasn't too long for you guys um if you have any comments or questions about anything then please leave them below i will get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching please like like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video